Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's practice on Yoga with Paige. We are focusing our practice around a theme today, and the theme is choosing gratitude. Not finding gratitude, not looking for gratitude, choosing gratitude. Because even though it can be a difficult practice at times, we have the power within ourselves to choose the way we view situations, emotions, events, things like that. So my intention, my goal for this heart opening practice for us today is as you move, try to keep this intention in mind. My affirmation, I choose gratitude, is a very simple one. And if that resonates with you, keep that in mind. Otherwise, let yourself come up with maybe a different affirmation or mantra that will allow your heart to open and expand as we move today and allow yourself to focus on kind of reworking those negative thoughts. So at any point during this practice, say um, we are working through some back bends and some fun postures. So if you find yourself having a difficult time, that is a great chance to practice and revisit our intention today. So for example, if you are struggling with a posture that you can normally do or you're finding something difficult instead of, or if you find yourself saying, thinking, I suck at this or I can't do this, that is a perfect chance to rework your mindset and try to attack it from a different perspective. So instead of saying that you suck at something, Try to view it as a chance to continue to grow and learn in your practice as you deepen. So that's just an example. Take what, take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. But we are working through a lot of chest expansion today. So nice, big, deep breaths. We move kind of slowly and carefully. So allowing ourselves that chance, that mental connection. We're not moving too quickly to kind of help control our thoughts as we attempt to control our physical bodies. So if this sounds like it jives with you today, then I am super excited to practice together. And if you like this channel, please give a thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed and turn on the notifications so you never miss another daily video or yoga flow. And whenever you're ready, we can get started if you would like to have a block handy for some forward folds, back bends, things like that. You can grab that and we will meet on the mat, but standing up in mountain pose. need to shake out the wiggles like me you can do so before finding yourself at the top of the mat we are beginning this practice with a few moments of breath awareness so taking your gaze down at your beautiful feet make sure your feet are about hip distance apart unless you would like to have your toes and heels closer together your preference but we are gazing at the feet, pulling the energy up from the earth as we lift up through the knees, slightly tucking in the tailbone, lifting all the way up like a string is drawing up through the crown of the head. Standing up nice and tall. Holding here for a few breaths. This is your chance to set your intention, find your affirmation that feels, that feels wholesome to you. And we have an option here to have palms facing forward, or maybe you would like palms together at heart center. Whatever is calling to you, whatever allows a deeper inward connection, that's what we're all about today. So just allowing yourself to breathe naturally, not forcing it any which way, just beginning to observe the body by finding presence in your breath. Drawing deep into the lungs. Letting your belly fully expand. 
On the inhale, let it become round and full. And then on the exhale, releasing anything that no longer fits. Observing anything that may be coming to mind already. And on this next inhale, inhale love in for yourself. Taking your awareness to the heart center, to the chest. Sending your breath there, sending your thoughts, your energy there. This big, beautiful organ pumping blood to your whole body. Beautiful. Taking about two more rounds of breath here, just observing, just noticing. And if you found your eyes gently closing, we can blink them back open, coming into the room on your next in-breath. Reach the hands up tall, palms meet, keeping the shoulders down away from the ears. Gaze up at the hands. And exhale, slowly fold over, keeping the palms together close to the heart as you travel downwards, bending the knees and allowing yourself to fully fold. Taking the legs a little bit more than hip distance apart, really allowing your belly to travel down to the thighs. Releasing your neck. Feeling the blood rush to the head. Taking a nice, deep, big breath. Every exhale in this practice is a chance to let go. Every inhale, a chance to recenter. Beautiful. Slowly lifting the head, pressing through the feet to gently roll up to standing. Make this very, very slow, keeping the legs a little bit apart. Really taking your awareness to the spine and see if you can feel all of the vertebra as you unravel. Untucking your chin at the very end, keeping your legs a little more than hip distance apart, ground through the feet, straighten the legs. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, right hand drops to the side of the leg as the left shoots overhead. A nice big stretch. So just opening up through the side body here, keeping the chest nice and spiraled open to the front, standing up tall. Connecting to the core, engaging your abdominals, not letting yourself flop over. One more breath. And we can stay here. We can sweep this left arm behind, kind of crossing it behind the back, sending the elbow to the back of the room, really opening up through the chest. One more breath. Beautiful. Gently come back up. Unravel and inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, other arm drops left to the side. It travels down the leg as you reach the right over. If you need to spread your legs a little bit more apart, that's totally okay too. Only going as far as you can still breathe nice and comfortably. Feeling your feet as they make contact with the earth. And taking your optional little half bind if you took it on the other side. And then gently using your core to lift back up and replace the arms to the front. Take the hands behind the neck, interlace the fingers, elbows reach out to the sides. Inhale, chest comes up. And exhale, keeping everything else in line, just tucking the chin as you draw the elbows together. Just waking up the back of the neck. Taking three rounds here, inhale to open. And exhale, 
Draw the elbows close. One more time, moving slowly. Beautiful. On your next inhale, reach the chest back up. Release the hands, keeping the feet nice and spread to the side. Inhale, reach the arms up, grabbing a hold of this left wrist with the right hand and sending the left leg behind the right. So maybe coming off the mat, that's okay. And taking either a nice little side bend here or we can reach up and make this more of a shoulder opener by sending the arms up overhead, gazing upwards. So take what you need here, modify. Maybe bending the legs, getting a deeper side stretch. This is all about you. And exhale. Let yourself travel back to the top of the mat, stepping wide. Inhale, taking a little standing cat cow, but making it what you need. So the only requirement here is we open the chest on the inhale, gaze up, and exhale, we kind of round through the spine. So letting your hands travel to the knees, letting them float by the sides, maybe finding kind of a weird mixture of both. Who knows, taking any rib rolls that feel good, finding some mobilization here. Feel the body connect to your breath. Matching movement. Finding about two more rounds before finding a neutral spine. Reaching the arms up, grabbing a hold of the right wrist and sending this right leg behind. Ooh, <laughs> big old crack there. Use the breath to come back into the body whenever you need to. And on your next exhale, release, stepping back up to the top of the mat. This time, step the feet as wide as the mat, maybe a little bit wider. Send the arms out in front of the shoulders, sinking down, bending the knees, pressing the palms out forward, slightly tucking in the tailbone for this nice bear pose. Using your breath, sinking down into the hips, holding here. Activating the glutes, the quads, feeling some strength, igniting those muscles. Staying here, we have an option to soar. Take the arms out by the side, lean the chest forward. Open yourself up. Breathe in the forgiveness, the compassion. You choose. You choose what you feel. You choose how you react. One more breath. Beautiful. Plant the hands down underneath the chest and carefully step back into a nice high plank pose. Spreading wide between the fingers, really engaging the core, drawing the navel up to the spine. Taking a little vinyasa before we make another round or two of sun salutation A. Draw the elbows in, tap the nose to the mat, inhale. Cobra, upward facing dog, sphinx pose. And exhale, roll over the toes, send the hips up, downward facing dog, start to paddle out those feet. Gaze at the hands, make your way to the tippy top of the mat, where we fold on the exhale. Halfway lift, reach the crown forward, big breath in. And exhale, fold, you can keep the knees bent if we need to. Inhale, root to rise, hands come above the head. Exhale, mountain. Gonna find some heat in the body here, reach the arms up. Exhale, dive forward, flat back. 
Halfway lift, extend through the crown. Plant the hands, step one foot back and the other plank pose. Taking a nice and controlled vinyasa. Modifying your sun salutation, maybe dropping down onto the knees if you need to. No shame in that. We're going to take one more. Notice how your body maybe feels a little bit different or your mind energetically as we flow through this next one. Moving at your own pace, finding your union of breath and movement. Meeting in downward facing dog whenever you arrive. And when you arrive in downward facing dog, we're going to lift the heels on the inhale. Exhale, slowly roll through a high plank and lower yourself down onto the belly. Sliding back if you've traveled up, coming into Sphinx pose, gliding the hands out, fingers spread, press into the mat, lifting the chest, big breath in. We'll have a few little check-in points throughout this practice, and this is one of them. Find a few breaths. Notice what's going on in your head. And on this next exhale, bend the knees, kick the feet up towards the ceiling and find gentle little windshield wipers. We can kind of spread the legs a little bit further if that feels better. Maybe coming down really onto the forearms you can kind of move the legs around, circle them out. Whatever you need to wake up and mobilize a little bit more through the hips. Using your breath to keep you present. And then extending the legs behind you, keeping them a little bit, almost as wide as the mat. Come back in through your Sphinx pose to press the hips up, engage the core, send the hips up and slide back. We're still on the forearms, knees are wide. Ground down through this left forearm. On your next in breath, peel the right arm up for a twist. And exhale, thread the needle coming onto the right shoulder as you extend this left arm, pressing through the palm, finding as much space as you can here, releasing tension in the hips or the shoulders if you find it there. gently, slowly replacing that left forearm and coming back up to take the other side. Inhale, left arm reaches up towards the sky, spread the fingers wide, feel the upper back. Exhale, scoop it underneath, coming to lie on the left ear, this time reaching the right fingertips out to the edge of the mat. Big, full breaths. Perhaps taking this moment to repeat your chosen mantra affirmation. Thinking it in your head or whispering it silently, softly, out loud. I choose gratitude. It's powerful. And when you're ready, gently press yourself back up. 
and make your way into downward facing dog. Tuck the toes, send the hips up, walk those hands out. Make sure you're properly warmed up in the backs of the legs. Still kind of walking the dog, bend the knees a little bit. Really reaching the chest towards the legs, finding length in the spine. Settling in. Ground down through the left foot. Kick the right up, three-legged dog, hips are square. Bend the knee, open the hips to the side, squeezing the glutes, stack the hips, pressing that right foot to the opposite side of the room. Beautiful, two big breaths. And exhale, three-legged dog. Bend the knee, bring it nice and high in through the chest. Plant it in between the hands, a low lunge, drop the left knee, arms reach up. And exhale, depress the shoulders, sinking into the hips. Keeping them nice and square, thinking of sending the hips down and forward, really opening up through the hip flexor, the left psoas. On your next out breath, take the arms in front of the chest, finding eagle arms. Left arm scoops underneath the right. Inhale, reach up, really rounding through the back, pressing the scapula to the back of the room. Exhale, finding a little twist, keeping your eagle arms until we kind of reach the knee and then releasing, planting palms together, using this elbow to press the knee, finding a little deeper of a twist, but again, not forcing yourself. Gently release, coming back to center. Rain the fingertips down, frame the foot. Step up into a nice high runner's lunge. And we can take an optional vinyasa here, or we can simply send the hips back and meet in a downward facing dog. Taking the other side, grounding down through the right leg, sweeping the left leg up high. Bending the knee, stacking the hips, really flex that foot, squeeze through the glutes, press away from the mat. Maybe feeling a little strength in the shoulders here. And exhale, square the hips, three-legged dog. Bring that knee high in through the chest and reach into our low lunge. Arms sweep overhead in breath. And on your exhale, take a moment to depress the shoulders, palms facing forward. Checking your alignment first before raveling into eagle arms. Finding about two breaths here, still taking your awareness to the hips. Let them soften a little. And gently come into your twist on the left side. Using your body control. And facing back center. Bring the fingertips down, create some energy there. Again, runner's lunge and option to take a vinyasa or come back into downward facing dog, wherever we meet. Maybe adding some play in your vinyasa if you took one. And whenever we meet here, remember to use your body control, move as slow as you need to. And we're going to find some fun here. So weep the right leg up, three-legged dog. Taking a few hip circles so you can keep the leg extended and make them big, big, long circles. Or maybe we want to bend the knee. You can maybe take a few of each. 
only about one or two more breaths. Just want to make sure the hips are nice and open. Then keeping that right leg raised, take it up behind you. Shift your weight forward onto the hands, bend the knee, come into a little wild thing, stepping this right leg behind, planting it on the ground, bending the knees, reaching the right hand up, and then extending the left leg, opening the chest, maybe taking your gaze up to the ceiling, if that feels good. You can also keep the right hand behind the head. One more breath. And wherever you are, we're coming in through a side plank as a transitional pose. So try to stack the feet, then plant the right foot as you start to bend the bottom leg, coming onto the knee, modified side plank. Exhale, sweep the right arm overhead, big stretch. Connect to the core, press yourself up, lifting up into a nice gate pose prep. Then slide the right hand down as the left reaches overhead. One big breath here. And windmill the arms around. We're planting the right hand down. Left reaches overhead, a little twist. You can feel the groins open up, maybe. Exhale, plant the left hand as well. Send the hips back. So you might want to open the legs a little bit more. Send the hips back. Coming down to where you can feel a nice opening of the groins. And then gently tuck this left foot underneath, coming to sit on the sit bones. I forgot to mention, we'll probably be traveling off the mat. Inhale, reach the left arm overhead. Revolving the chest forward. Reaching for the foot, really active in the legs. Inhale, come back up, crossing this right leg over the left. Finding a nice bind, so wrapping the left arm around the knee. Inhale, hug it into the chest. Send yourself love. Exhale, twist and release. Releasing physical tension. Releasing mental worry. No need to worry. Easier said than done, but you can only do with what you have right now. And right now, it's exactly where you need to be. Coming back, facing the legs, stacking the knees, kind of wiggling these feet out to the sides here. Really rooting down at the sit bones. Take a little wiggle wobble if you need to. Make sure you are comfortable. Reaching for the feet. We can take a full cow face pose if we would like. Or we can reach for the feet, the ankles, and just gently, gently fold over the legs. We'll take a few breaths of rest here. This is another check-in point for you to see how you're doing thus far. Returning to the breath. Here we go. Finding some ease in the middle of the effort. And when you're ready, lifting back up, coming forward, rocking forward onto the knees or unraveling however you need to, to come through a tabletop and we can perform the other side. So rocking forward if that feels okay, uncrossing the legs and sending the hips up, downward facing dog. Now we know what to do. Beautiful ground through the, the right foot. Send the left up and find your hip circles, whether they are large or maybe you bent the knee. Always options to elevate or decrease the level. Beautiful, and then making your way into your wild thing. Grounding down through the right edge of the foot as you plant the left ball of the foot, reaching the left arm up and over. Using your breath, finding it, 
returning to it, letting it nourish you, and then making your way into your nice, strong side plank, taking your time, gripping through the fingers, and then dropping down into your modified side plank. Left arm sweeps overhead. And then reach up into your gate pose prep. Gate pose. Windmilling around, this time the left arm plants. Right reaches up. Exhale, plant both hands down. Send the hips back. Beautiful. One more breath here. And then gently tuck the right foot underneath. And reach for the left. Taking the shoulders away from the ears, reaching from the base of the spine out through the crown of the head. Create space and choose gratitude. Inhale, lift back up, carefully crossing, coming into your version of this twist, giving yourself a little hug, and exhale, the ring out the spine. Letting your breath guide you back home. And whenever you're ready, gently coming into your version of this nice gluteus stretch. Wiggling until you find that spot. And then finding what feels good and nourishing to you. We can only receive if we choose to also let go. One of the great many paradoxes of life. Allow yourself to release and unfold into this forward fold. And when you are ready to come up, I want to invite you to find some play in this practice here today. So if you want to try some headstand practice, if you want to kind of find some fun shapes in wheel pose or your head, your uh, handstand, headstand, whatever pose, maybe you want to try kicking up into a little pinch up pose. I invite you, if you feel thoroughly warmed up, trying another little back bend or anything that feels playful to you, find some play and explore. No judgment if you fall out, no judgment if you can't do it as well as you thought. This is another part of our practice where we can practice choosing gratitude for what we have and what we feel instead of focusing all on what we don't. So I give you a few moments now, a minute or two, to play around. And if you don't have anything you want to do, we will be meeting next in child pose. So you can take that or do whatever your heart fancies. Maybe using this practice to connect to your intuition, see what your body is really craving. See what exploration you can meet. 
Maybe you want to try a few different things. I invite you. Especially if there's something you've been avoiding. I haven't done wheel pose in a very long time. Don't know why I've been avoiding it. It used to be one of my favorites. So here we are. Choosing gratitude for the good, not avoiding what we don't want to do either. And take your time, keep exploring. Pause this video if you want a little bit more time. And meet me here in a nice child pose whenever you are ready, my good friend. Enjoy your time on the mat. Letting your heart melt down close to the earth. Allowing it to fully embrace you as you embrace yourself. All of the parts that make up you. on your next inhale, lifting the head, shifting the weight forward, coming back onto the belly, making our way into our cool down. Extending this left arm by your side, bending the right knee, kicking it over, getting a nice big shoulder stretch. Should feel really yummy. You can lay the head down, opening up through the front of the body, And then press through this right hand to kind of walk the left arm up over your head and flip onto your back. Take the knee in and exhale. Right knee is guided over the chest. Now we're in a little supine twist. We have another chance to make that transition a little bit smoother. So have fun with it. Noticing where your heart rate is right now, how your breath feels, helping it to relax your body and your mind. And then carefully taking this right arm over the body, flipping back onto the belly and extending this right arm long. Kicking the left leg over, lying on our right ear. Using this left hand to press away from the mat, opening up through the upper back. And when you're ready to 
Try this cool transition again, flip over onto your back, keeping the right leg extended and cross the left knee over. And rolling fully over onto the back. Taking a little supported shoulder stand if you'd like or a regular shoulder stand. Kicking the legs up into the air, holding on to the lower part of your back as you take the elbows close. And we can take the knees towards the head, maybe extend them up. Squeezing through the glutes. Or taking a little ear pressure pose, letting the legs fall over the head. Finding any variation of these that feel good to you. Who knows what you might discover. <laughs> and whenever you're ready, gently rolling back onto the back making your way into a nice happy baby letting the knees draw down by the ribs as you let gravity pull your legs down towards the mat the earth giving your lower back a nice little massage here giving it lots of support Take a nice deep breath in and out. A few more seconds here. before gently releasing the feet and extending both legs, coming into a nice corpse pose. Slightly tucking the shoulder blades underneath your back, allowing all of the weight to fall down out of your limbs, out of your muscles. Relaxing the muscles of the face, of the jaw, and taking this last minute or two of silence. Letting this practice seep into your body, your body, your mind, body, and soul. Allowing this practice to seep in to mind, body, spirit.
And when you're ready, you can gently begin to release from your nice, restful Shavasana. Finding one last breath together, sealing in this nice practice. Thank you so much for allowing me to guide you on the mat today and for choosing to find gratitude. I look forward to the next time we meet. Take care, my beautiful friend.